Hey what is up everyone, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy and in today's video we'll be going over how to make a group joining system in Roblox Studio. Now how the system works is your players are able to officially join your Roblox group while still inside of the game. In the past players would have had to leave the game, join the group and then rejoin the game, but without a doubt at least 50% of people who left the game would never actually rejoin. Roblox only recently introduced the system to the platform, meaning this is fully built into the Roblox system. You as the developer will also be able to set which Roblox group you would like them to join, and if you would like to include any rewards which they receive in return for joining your Roblox group. Well without further ado, let's begin the tutorial. So for starters we want to make sure our explorer and properties are enabled. If our explorer and properties are not enabled you want to head over here to the top bar, explore and properties. We now want to go and create our part. So the, what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be making it on a proximity prompt. I will also show you how to make it on a screen GUI. So if a player clicks a button or clicks a, a, a text button or whatever it will then prompt them to go and actually join the Roblox group. I'll show you that later on in the video. But for the main system we're going to be using a proximity prompt. So I'm just going to go and insert our part there. We could go rename this part to, um, uh, I don't know, part cheese. Okay, let's call it part cheese. Something that we can easily remember. Part cheese. We're then going to click on the plus button next to part cheese and insert a proximity prompt. Now you can go and adjust the name of the proximity prompt. It's entirely up to you. You can also go and adjust some settings. For example, the whole duration, what key on the keyboard you want to actually activate the proximity prompt with. Um, and also the text. I think the text over here, yeah, the action text is on default interact so you could change this to uh, join our group just something like that and then when the player goes and clicks e it will say join our group but anyway we've got our proximity prompt sorted here what we want to go do now is we want to head over here to the starter player click on the drop down arrow then head over here to start a player scripts click on the plus button next to start a player scripts and insert a local script so now that you've gone and inserted your local script inside of your starter player scripts you want to head down to the description of this video copy and paste script one you're going to want to copy that bring that back to roblox studio remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code now as you guys can see the code is very short it's only eight lines here i'm just going to quickly go over what you need to change so that it, you can get it working now over here on line one we identify our group service this is basically going onto the main roblox page and getting the group service or getting the information about roblox groups line two it then identifies our part so we're basically identifying this part right here that we inserted earlier so as you guys remember i changed our part name to part cheese so i'm just going to go and change this section here where it says part two part cheese i don't know if you named it tom and jerry go and change that to tom and jerry whatever the situation is then on here on line three we've got local proximity prompt we are identifying our proximity prompt so whatever your proximity prompt is called go and insert it there but i've just left it as proximity prompt so we don't need to go and change anything and then here on line four we go and insert our group id now basically how you want to go and get your group id is you want to head over to the main roblox page all right i am now on the main roblox page on the roblox group that the player will need to be inside of so basically what you can do to go and get your group id is head over here to the top link and you want to see the big bunch of numbers you want to go and copy that big bunch of numbers copy that take that back to roblox studio and then place it in that area where it says group id so we're back inside the studio here as i've mentioned go to your group id take that id that we've just gone and copied from our top link go and take that copy that bring that back to roblox studio remove this id and then paste in your id right there all right so now that you've gone and inserted the id we can go and give it a test out so if we want to head over here click on play so now if we go and click on e join our group it will then take me to this page here now because i am the owner of the group of course i cannot join the group but what we'll go and do to demonstrate how this actually works here is so this is what happens if you are already inside of the group which in my case is the situation all right, what I'm going to go do here, I'm going to go and change one of the digits here just to find another random Roblox group. So I'm going to go and remove um, the zero and replace it with, let's go five, because the likelihood of me owning the same Roblox group is very unlikely. So what I'm going to go do over here is I'm going to head back into the test place. I'm going to head over here to our part and proximity prompt. I'm then going to go and click E. And as you guys can see, it has prompted us to this other random Roblox group. It tells us who it's by. It tells us the name. It tells us how many members it's got. It allows us to join the community or join the Roblox group and also to kind of cancel our action. Um, so in this instance, we're going to go and click join is a confirmation. Well done. You've joined the group or, you know, you're now in the group, whatever the situation is. And then when you go and click E again, it will then go and say that you are inside of the group. All right. So now that we've gone and completed our main proximity prompt here with the E and the um, prompting of the actual group joining, 
I'm going to show you now how we can actually make it give someone an award. Now I'm not going to show you the in-depth systems on how to do it because that's entirely up to you. Everyone has their own type of reward they want to give but for a demonstration I'll probably give a times two walk speed or a, a double walk speed or whatever the situation is somewhere along those lines but I'm just going to kind of give you a bit of a uh, example on how that sort of system or how it would actually work. So I'm going to also attach this in the um, description of the video. It'll be called script 2 and basically all we're going to be doing is it's going to be this exact same script but now just with a reward and you're more than welcome to use this and insert your own reward. Alrighty so what I'm going to go do I've gone and copied script 2 I'm going to go remove all the previous code and then I'm going to go and paste in script 2. As I've mentioned I'm going to try to keep this short just to kind of, kind of give you a bit of a demonstration on how this works. So as I've mentioned it's very similar we've got our main um, identifying parts here. Remember our part was called part cheese so I'm going to go and change it just like that proximity prompt group ID we can go and change this back to our um, our main group ID that will work fine um, so basically it, it runs through our proximity prompt dot triggered so when the proximity prompt is triggered it will then identify our local player now in this instance I'm giving the player double walk speed um, so you're likely involve the player in some way or form but typically what you would usually see here just on a, a pure emptiness is it would just simply be the local success here and then the if statements which will basically be going over uh, the if and end and this is this section here is basically where you are inserting your own actions or the reward that the player will actually get from joining your roblox group so this is the, the, in between these parts here are where your main actions are actually going to be but we've decided identifying our local player up here at the beginning and um, so in this instance we've got if a result equals equals in got uh, enum dot group membership status dot join so if the player is inside the group or the player is already a member those two kind of work um together in a, in a way um, which basically make it or basically determines whether the player is inside the group or not so if player dot character then so it's checking if the player is a character then it is going to identify the local humanoid which is where the walk speed um, can be adjusted from so if humanoid then the walk speed is going to be set to 32. so that's our simple um adjustment there um, what we can go do is I'm gonna go test it out now just keep in mind that this is just a demonstration this is how it can work um, if you want you know in the ideal world how you would want it is if the player is in the group then they get the walk speed difference right when they join into the game but that means it needs to be on a server side script it can't be inside a local script so as you guys can see I've got currently a walk speed of 16 when I go click E here because I'm already in the group it's gonna then detect oh, okay floppy is already inside of the group so we will now give him a walk speed of 32 so in this instance with that script the only time I get the walk speed is when I go and click E, e here here to actually make sure that I do have or I am actually inside of that Roblox group. Alrighty so that is script 2 now I'm also just going to show you a demonstration on how we can do it on a GUI I'm just going to speed run everything here um, because I want to keep the video short for you guys I don't want to make it too long look at my amazing UI skills um, this will do the trick really it doesn't matter um, we didn't even really need that frame but I've got a local script here so I've got local group service again as I mentioned this is just identifying the group service in Roblox we then identify our local GUI which is script.parent right there script.parent is our text button that's what the button the player is clicking GUI.mouse button one click to create a function group service prompt and then it prompts our group ID which is right up here so if I go over here now and I go, go, go click play and I go click on our amazing UI that I've made here as you guys will see it will then prompt me to the same page now because I'm already in the group it will not prompt me to go and join the community but say I changed it back to that other digit we had of five to that other Roblox group we go click play we can head over here click on the plus button or the click on the on the button so that's how you can do it on a GUI if you don't want it on a proximity prompt like I've shown you earlier if you guys are a little bit lost and you're needing a little bit of assistance here with today's tutorial please feel free to create a ticket at my discord server and we'd be more than happy to help you out but anyway guys that is going to be it here for today's video if you did enjoy I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video I'd really appreciate it but anyway guys thank you once again for watching and I'll see everyone in the next Roblox studio video.